So for um, 21, we're taking the region R1, and then we're rotating about the line um, AB. So AB is this line here. Um, so it's just a straight line that's at X is equal to 1. And R1 is the region beneath this line here, this straight line. Um, and now this is a straight line that goes from 0, 0 to 1, 1. Um, so for every one unit in X, we grow 1 in Y, and therefore this is the line um, Y is equal to X. So when we revolve it about, um, about AB, what is happening is we're going to have a bunch of, of disks, right? Um, so this is going to give us our volume, which is going to end up being a cone. So um, we're stacking up these disks across the y-axis, right? It goes all, all the way from 0 here to y is equal to 1. And therefore, um, our integral is going to go from 0 to 1. And then we're just integrating, because the integral is a sum, right? We're just summing up the each disk to get a volume, right? Because they're stacked on top of each other. Um, so the only thing that's missing is for us to be able to express the area of each disk. And the radius, as we can see, changes, right? It gets um, it's very big at the bottom, and get, then it gets smaller and smaller as we go up. So we um, this clearly changes as a function of y, right? As our height changes, so does our radius. And therefore, we just have to see that expressing the radius, so the length from here to here, right? Well, what's this length? Well, this orange length, uh, maybe I'm going to erase all of this so that we can see things clearer. Okay. So this orange length here is actually um, this pink length, which is 1, right? So it's 1. And then minus, so we have to go back, minus this length. And the length in blue is just the height of the curve, right? So we can see that to get the orange line, we go pink minus blue. And therefore, we have the, the radius r is equal to 1 minus y. And we're actually, because the line is y is equal to x, right? Um, and the reason that we're choosing y and not x is because we're integrating with respect to y, since we're stacking them up across the y-axis. So um, therefore, our area is just pi r squared, which is pi uh, 1 minus y squared. And then when we follow this, which is equal to pi, um, times, let's see, that gives us y squared minus 2y um, plus, plus 1. Yeah. So once we have this, um, we have, I'm going to put the pi outside, right? And then we have just y squared uh, minus 2y plus 1, and then all of this times dy. So we're ready to integrate. Um, our integral gives us, let's see, that's y cubed over 3 minus 2y squared over 2, and then plus y from 0 to 1, which is the same thing as going um, pi times y cubed over 3 minus y squared, and then plus y from 0 to 1. So when we, um, when we plug in our boundaries, oops, that is not what I meant to do. So when we plug in our boundaries here, we're going to get pi. Uh, we plug in 1, so that is 1 over 3 minus 1 plus 1, right? And then I would go minus lower boundary, but the lower boundary, everything's going to go to 0. So it's going to be 0 minus 0 plus 0. So we ignore that, which is equal to, let's see, minus 1 plus 1, they cancel out. So that just gives us pi over 3, pi over 3. And that is our answer when we um, take this R1 and then we revolve it about the line AB.